Synthetics is the bond between crypto and a $22 trillion market. A market so big, it would put Synthetics as one of the most important crypto projects in the world. They keep on building and evolving and that's why we're here to tell you all the latest updates on Synthetics, how it works and why it's a big deal. But first, a quick summarization before I give you all the latest updates so you know what they actually mean. Synthetics is the bond between the world and crypto. It connects stocks, commodities and fiat currencies by allowing users to mint synthetic assets. Synthetic assets are assets pinned to the value of the real world assets. In other words, it allows you to hold currencies, stocks, commodities and more directly through crypto. It uses a staking mechanism to provide liquidity for all of these assets. This provides incentives for stakers and a big liquidity pool for users. So how does Synthetics work? Synthetics runs on Ethereum and acts as a decentralized exchange and issuer of the synthetic assets mentioned before. It operates through the incentive system mentioned before, where stakers earn passive income by providing liquidity directly to users. Users use the SNX token and the features of the smart contract to get exposure to any asset they want. Bonds, stocks, real estate, just about anything you can think of that has trackable value. So why is Synthetics such a big deal? Synthetics is the bond between trillions of dollars and crypto. It allows you to trade any stock, bond or trackable assets without KYC or an account. It operates fairly decentralized on the Ethereum blockchain and is the link between decentralized assets in the real world and crypto. By using staking as an incentive method for providing liquidity, Synthetic is a fully self-contained ecosystem. Here are the recent upgrades and updates that you should know about. One recent upgrade to the Synthetics network is the creation of three decentralized autonomous organizations or DAOs in 2020. Synthetics was originally governed by the Synthetics Foundation, which was a not-for-profit foundation created in Australia. However, over time control was shifted to these three DAOs. The first one, Protocol DAO, which controls funding for protocol upgrades and changes to Synthetics smart contracts. Number two, Grants DAO. This controls funding for the community proposals for public goods on Synthetics. The third DAO being the Synthetics DAO controls funding for entities that are advancing the network's development. And here are five things that you need to know about our DEX or decentralized exchange. Number one, the DEX offers 19 assets and 31 trading pairs. Number two, you connect to the DEX using any Web3 wallet like MetaMask. Number three, the DEX charges both a maker and a taker fee of 0.3% and the fees are used to reward stakers for providing liquidity. Number four, since it's on the Ethereum network, users also have to pay gas. Sadly, these fees make it too expensive for some users to use the contracts. Number five, Synthetic is deploying the protocol on Optimism, a layer 2 scaling solution that will solve the gas fee issue. And users will of course be able to migrate both tokens and assets over there. Now who are the people behind the Synthetics network? Kane Warwick, Justin Moses and Clinton Ennis are the main people at Synthetics. Kane Warwick is the founder of Synthetics. He has past experience in building cryptocurrency payment platforms in Australia the biggest one being Blueshift. Before that, Warwick was also an advisory council member in Blockchain Australia, as well as the advisory board member at the Burger Collective. Justin Moses is the CTO at Synthetics and has been with the project since the beginning. Before joining Synthetics, Moses was director of engineering at MongoDB. He has extensive experience with large-scale systems, specializing in design and deployment. Synthetics senior architect Clint Ennis has over 18 years of experience in software engineering. Coming from traditional finance, Ennis used to work as an architect lead at JP Morgan Chase. How does the Synthetic network actually work? SNX is the utility token of the Synthetics ecosystem. SNX is used to create synthetic assets, the bond between the real world, assets and crypto. SNX tokens can be purchased from exchanges and can be staked as liquidity 
for users to create new synthetic assets. How do these synthetic assets actually work? Synth tokens are synthetic assets that replicate the value of real assets. They are characterized by the staking of SNX tokens, and they can be in any form and are designated with the letter S. For example, fiat synths would look like this as Euro, as USD, SRMB. Other variants of synths are SAAPL, synthetic apple, or S Tesla, synthetic Tesla. And of course, there are many more. When users create new SINs, they lock up SNX tokens equal to the value of the SINs created. The locked tokens act as a debt and has to be paid back in order to unlock the tokens. The value of both the SNX tokens and the synthetic ones are likely to change, and so the ratio between the debt and the newly formed assets have a very interesting dynamic. Even more interesting, users do not have to pay in the same type that was originally coined. As long as the synth used for payment has the same market value, it will be accepted by the system. For example, a Tesla synthetic asset can be used instead of a Bitcoin one, as long as they have the same value. But to be noted is that the synth tokens do not exactly match the assets they represent, they are known as synthetic assets for a reason. For example, if you hold the Apple token, you're exposed to Apple stock's volatility. However, unlike holding genuine Apple stocks or shares, you will not benefit from genuine Apple shareholder dividends. So how much collateral? The synthetic system requires a collateralization rate of 750%, for example, if you want to mint 100 SUSDT, you must deposit SNX token worth at least $750 as collateral. Now this high collateralization rate is imposed in order to protect the platform against extreme market price fluctuations. Here are all the tokenomics. Synthetics is currently on spot 78 on CoinMarketCap, its market cap is $362 million, and its fully diluted market cap is $448 million. It has a 24-hour volume of $19 million, and its circulating supply is $248 million. Its max supply is $308 million, and total supply is $310. We will cover more projects here in the future, so feel free to subscribe. Thank you all for watching and I'll see you next time.